All right, so I'm another funeral by my house. <sighs> to do is come to y'all with straight humility. Hold on, I'm gonna park. Okay, I parked. Excuse me. Um, so much humility is going on in my brain right now um, that I just have to talk about it real quick. It's so humbling to drive past. It's so humbling to drive past that um, funeral home, that funeral uh, bur burial site cemetery oh my god sorry y'all i'm just now waking up maybe like an hour ago so um the lord has been working on me in such a mighty way um i don't know how to really convey what's going on because a lot of things you have to keep in secret when you know god is working um but i will say that healing and humility are at the brink of my life um i don't even know how to begin to express how grateful i am for what's going on in my life right now i am one i like to embrace change um i know people probably think i'm crazy but like when hard times come i know i'm about to get a blessing um i might cry like at first and be like oh my god and then i'm like oh instantly um i know good is coming so i want to uh pass that test um, so that's what I'm going through right now in my life. It's just like I keep having to pass test, uh, test after test after test. I have to hand things over to the Lord um, that usually I thought I was supposed to like help him out with type of deal. So humility and healing, humility and healing. Um, the souls that he's bringing to my life, um, I'm just so grateful for. I don't want to get the big crying face, but I need you all to know that I have been praying for my IG and YouTube community in a way that I never have before um, shifts are going on and it is causing me to be aware of how God is using me before people that oh my god you know you saved my life um, that one day you so-and-so or I'd be like oh my gosh that's great and I had humility about it but it was like you know God just used me and uh, no big deal um, now it's becoming a really big deal guys like I'm touching young people's souls. I'm touching older people's souls. I'm touching my generation's souls. Um, baby souls. Like, God is using me to win the souls so we don't get caught up in the second rapture, after the second rapture, and to get things right within ourselves. Um, I really wish people would stop wasting time. I do. Um... It's so scary to think about the fact that every night you go to sleep, you don't have to wake up. He doesn't have to wake you up. He blows his breath on you literally like the pastor said, like I've said. And that is your initial wake up. It's not the sound of the alarm. Um, and that is just something to be grateful for because you don't know if you're going to get it tomorrow. And I think that's why I've been so pushed and prompted to post more and talk more and be that advocate for expression um, that I've been named <laughs> so specially and um, really truly make it my sole responsibility to continue to spread God's word because that is what the Bible says we are to do anyway. But it's time to be able to uh, wear the crown a little bit more heavily. Um, still coming with humility and healing. Humility and healing. God can't use me if he can't trust me. God can't use me if I don't heal. God can't use me if I don't stay humble. Boop, boop, boop. It's like this chain reaction. Um, so I am prompted in the spirit to ask you to hug on yourself today and grab a hold of humility and healing. Sometimes we don't even know we're broken in a certain place, guys. We've got to search. It's soul searching time. It is time to really truly figure out if you're an angry person, take yourself back. Where did you became where did you become angry? Who did it? Um, who did you allow to do it really? But where did it come from? Because you can't blame anybody. I'm trying to teach my kids this. It doesn't matter if I screamed as a mom. You just had to adapt to it. I'm so sorry, I'm admitting this. Um, I've always been a yeller. Um, I ask so nicely so many times and then when they don't listen, I'm yelling and I've been a single mom So it's been stressful 
Um, but I've always been there for them. I always build back up, but I do. I'm a screamer. So I say all that to say I've been healing from that, but it's still in me. It's still in me. Um, and I have to release it and heal from it completely, completely, or God can't use me. There's something he wants to take me to, somewhere he wants to take me to, something he wants to use me for, but he can't because I can't control this one part of my anger. Um, we're all going through it. But I can't go back in my past and say, oh yeah, pinpoint that and da-da-da, he did that, she did that. I'm grown. I'm grown. I have the spirit I have now because I don't allow people who have hurt me to um, fester into my life moving forward. I use it as like a superpower strength and energy. I just like pump my blood with it. Um, and that's from God. I don't do that. Trust me. I'm sure there have been people, not trust me, I know for a fact, there's been people in my life in the past that have hurt me so bad. I just wanted to go crawl in a hole and never come out. Um, but how and why would I do that? I'm such a strong person. He made me so mighty and, and, and just like unbreakable type of chick that hiding in a hole would have gave that person power. They can't have power. When they hurt you, they're not even able to almost um, like attain the information in the way that you want them to anyway because that's the type of person that they are. And until God, you know, changes them or if ever, they might just be a lost soul. Like that's their business. In other words, is all I'm trying to say. Um, so anyways, I don't want to make this all long and drawn out. Still, the point is humility, healing, healing, humility. It's time to go back and find out what in the world jacked you up, who you did, who you allowed to do it, who you jacked up, um, who they allowed you, what they allowed you to do to them, and forgive yourself for that too. But it's time to really ask God, where you want me? I'm ready to go where you want me. I'm ready to walk in your footsteps. I'm ready to go wherever you take me. I don't want to be anywhere that you don't want me at. I don't. Every single morning, I tell God I'm nothing without him. I, and I'm not. And in the Bible, it teaches you. I think it's in John somewhere. Like, you're literally, he tells you, you're nothing without me. Like, um, my guy just said on his live, there's no way in the world that um, you shouldn't be hiding like that once you hear something like that. Go get right so you don't have to hide. Because every day, you just need to be like, I don't do this. I don't pay my bills. I don't, everything. That'll be another whole five minute video if I list everything that we don't do. We don't do anything. He does everything. Um, 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 I love God and I hope that you do too. You follow me, so obviously you do. My newcomers that don't know Christ, I keep telling you all, please DM me. I, I will pray for you. I will speak life into your life in regards to this because the devil has got a lot of people on his side. There's a lot of souls that don't understand what I'm saying. They don't even want to listen. They hear what I'm talking about and they immediately click off my page. Um, if there was a thumbs down on IG, I bet for God I would get a lot. But so what? I'm not on here to gain popularity votes. I'm on here to gain souls. And that is my bottom line. I don't get on here to people, please. I don't get on here to be cute. Look at me. I'm still in the same shirt I was last night. I haven't showered. All I did was brush my teeth and wash my face this morning. I'm going home to shower now. Um, but like there, there's a realness about me that you might can't find anywhere else. And I'm not tooting my own horn. I just know who I am. I know who I'm created to be. I know what I see on IG. The real ones, man, I'm following all of y'all. The ones that have kindred spirits like me, I'm following all of y'all. But. If you're not feeding my soul and you're not where I'm at or better, then we don't have anything to talk about. And if you're not trying to be better, we don't have anything to talk about. I won't waste one more second of my life trying to gain someone's attention, affection, approval, or anything anymore because it's not important. I got to go over here and live for God. I, I just like, I have to, I, I have to go over here. That's not important. So. Humility and healing, guys, okay? Be blessed. Know that I love you, and I'm praying for you always and still, okay? Besos.